Uncle Johnny made my dress that cheap spandex. She looks a mess. Are you fucking laughing at that? Welcome back. This is footage of me and my husband finally finishing our will, our trust, all of those things. If you don't have one, get one immediately. For two years. Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are done. Hey. I'm back. I know my eyebrows are really dark. It's because I just got my microblade touch up. But I am going to Columbia because I'm going to see Beyonce today. I am going to see Beyonce. I'm happy. I'm happy to see Beyonce. That little sound bite. I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. It's pretty much relevant for everything that happens in my life at this point. So I'm going to say it all the time. Anyway, I am heading to the AMC theater to see the Renaissance movie, the documentary. So excited. Also, it's December 1st, which is the kickoff to my birthday month. My birthday is December 9th, so this is the first day of December. So as soon as the tickets went on sale back in October, I think, I don't remember, I bought two tickets. I'm by myself, though, so I didn't even think about... Actually, I texted my homegirl this morning to see if she wanted to go with me. I was going to give her the ticket because her birthday was actually yesterday, um, but she wasn't available. So I'm just going to go see it myself. Maybe I'll run into somebody who wants the ticket outside and i'm so excited i'm going to the movies by myself this is my second time doing this this year something about going to the movies by yourself so empowering so free so peaceful okay um so that is why i'm doing i am driving to the movie theater right now i'm almost there i haven't had anything to eat today i'm starving i haven't eaten anything i haven't had any coffee I had my hot water with lemon this morning. That's all I had. Then I had to go to my space and deal with the plumber, my business and deal with the plumber. But I, it's time to see Beyonce. I'm so excited for this movie. Every one of Beyonce's documentaries is life changing. I remember the Life is But a Dream documentary. And I'm sure I watched it right when it came out. I think it was on HBO. But I ended up going to LA not too far after that movie came out. And my hotel, I stayed at the Andaz, which is like one of my favorite hotels in, in LA. Outside of my window was literally a billboard for the movie. So every time I would look outside, I would see Beyonce's beautiful face. I'm excited. I know they going to see Beyonce. I know they going to see Beyonce. showtime i'm about to start running i'm running y'all i've already picked my seat so it's 11 48 it says the movie starts at 12 but i'm assuming there will be previews but maybe not maybe beyonce doesn't have previews because it's her Back to you, you uncultured couch shoppers. Reality holds no power or control of my state of mind on my voyage. I enter being the name you use. From now on, I'm just gonna get better and better from where I am now. I didn't go to the concert you would think i was not at the concert dying living my best life in the most amazingly natural high of my life i was at the concert and i just saw that movie i cried three or four times i danced like i was at the concert i sang like i was one of the sweet honeys sweet tea sweet honey whatever it was so good i don't want to spoil it for you know if you haven't seen it go see it if you have seen it go see it again if you if you didn't get to go to renaissance you absolutely need to go to this movie i 
I felt like I was like seeing the concert from the front row. You know what's another thing that I noticed? And I've noticed this. So me and my coworkers were talking about this. I was telling them I was going to see the movie today. And they were like, are you a part of the Beehive? And I was like, well, I have been a Beyonce fan since before the Beehive, right? Back in 96, 97, when Destiny's Child came out. You be saying no, 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 no. Oh, and it's really yes, 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 yes. You be saying no, no. See, that's the that, that's how you know if you're a real Beyonce fan. Because you know that's the real version of the song. The fast version that y'all hear was the remix. It's the reprise with Wyclef. The dun, dun, dun. That's the remix. The real version is a slow version. You be like, you won't regret, I must confess. I'm really feeling you. Again, I've been there since before. Beyonce's two years older than me. So I felt like I grew up with her. Literally every aspect of her life, I was kind of experienced the same kind of stuff. We'll get into that later. But. I do think there was a time in my life where I idolized her and I just looked up to her and wanted to be her and saw her as this larger than life figure. But now she's 42. I'll be 40 in a week. I literally feel like she's my homegirl. Now, I don't know what I would do if I would meet her. I don't know if I would fan out. I, I just when I watch her, I feel like I'm watching my good girlfriend live her life and be successful. I don't say that to take away from any of her magic, but she's truly doing what God called her to do. It was not by chance that her mom was a seamstress or her grandmother was a seamstress and she was a seamstress. And because that is how she was able, and her mom owned a hair salon. That's how they were able to do what needed to be done for Destiny's Child. That's not by chance. God wanted this for her and her family, her community, everybody in her life ensure that that happened when you're doing your god calling whether it's being on stage with hundred for hundreds of thousands of people or writing a book a children's book or being a teacher to 25 kids that need you if it's what god wants you to do it's going to succeed it ain't gonna fail and sometimes we might have hiccups we might have things that hold us back but if it's what you're supposed to do, you're going to eventually get there. And my God, seeing it all full circle on the big screen. Also, if you can see it in IMAX, absolutely see it in IMAX. That, I think that's why it also felt like I was back at the concert. Because like, you can feel the music in the chairs. And Oh, man, it was so good. My God. And I don't, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I bought two tickets. I didn't have time to find somebody to go with. But I'm happy I went by myself. Because I was just crying in there, bawling, boohooing part of that some other stuff going on but man i am blessed thank you beyonce remember how um james Wright chanel did that thing patty 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 that's how i feel about beyonce b if you if somebody send this to beyonce and tag her if you know beyonce tag her if anybody know patty the bell tag her in the video patty god like Shout out to you, Beyonce. Shout out to Mama Tina. Shout out to Matthew. Also, her reverence for her for her elders and the way that she just paid so much homage to the people that sacrificed so much for her. And again, I saw the concert. I know Renaissance front to back. But seeing it in this way, like I, I know Renaissance from an audio standpoint. I know Renaissance from a live concert visual standpoint. But to see it in cinema was like just different and blue ivy carter i'm gonna just leave this right there i'll be back i have a conference call i'm, I'm gonna pick up on this once i get dressed a little later on because i have an event tonight Per. if anybody wants to um just have a conversation about the beyonce renaissance movie give me a call don't facetime me i'm not gonna answer give me a call um would love to bask in all of this. <sighs> wow. The client, the customer are actually the authority in the relationship. And I really want people to consider that as they're looking to, to work with any expert, any anybody you're engaging with. The first one is to date your therapist. Yes, I want you to date your therapist. Happy Saturday. I just got home. Um, 
recorded podcast episodes at um, home now with my kids. My sister came over to watch the babies because my husband had to run out of town. Hi. Huh? Hi. Hi. Did y'all miss me? That's a no? It's yeah. a no? I like this one. Daddy. Did you miss me, Reese? Dang. At least you ain't lying. Got my protein bar. Good morning. Back in my car. It is Sunday, December 3rd. I turned 40 in six days. Oh my God. And I am about to go to the gym. It's raining, but it feels really good outside. So after I do my cardio, I'm going to go for a walk. Um, yeah. It's Tuesday, December 5th. And I have no idea when the last time I vlogged was. So um, I'm just going to put a hodgepodge together. And this will be, I guess, my first weekly vlog. I am heading to work. I go in usually on Tuesdays. But um, today I'm going to our other office in Fort Washington because we also, my department or my division, <laughs> we're having our holiday gathering today. And the Fort Washington office is very close to where we're having our holiday shindig. So we're going to McCormick and Schmick's for... <clears throat> lunch a team lunch and then we're gonna go do sip and paint come with me this again this is my first weekly vlog so we'll see if i'm able to pull it all together and actually release something in a week <laughs> into you know one color scheme you can always switch this up and make it more your own right? we have certain color schemes at home that you want to match that's right that's all that's right all right because i'm tired <laughs> Just down just a little bit. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three. When I saw this, I just thought about Beyonce. He did. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I just thought about He did when I saw this. Now it's time to go pick up my daughter so she can get her hair done. Um, I didn't really film any of the other stuff today. But my boss got me a holiday gift, so that was nice of her. <laughs> Good morning. Let me pause this. I'm watching Latavia, honey. It's Thursday, December 7th. My birthday is in two days. I turn 40 in two days. And I originally thought I was going to be traveling, but. I made the grown-up decision not to go anywhere, um, but my husband, not but, so my husband now has planned something, and I have no idea what he's playing, y'all forgive me, didn't do my hair, don't care, and I have some pimples that I'm trying to get figured out, but my husband has something planned, and I don't know what he has planned, and he's never really done this before, and I'm feeling a little giddy. <laughs> because he really wants to make this one special for me because past birthdays have not felt as special, which is why I usually just go out of town because that's like the anxiety of thinking someone's gonna do something for me. I just get away, just do away with it and I'm gonna go out of town. But things a little differently this year and I am releasing control and I'm really looking forward to it. So today I have a little, I'm off for the next seven days or today and Friday and then all next week I took off um, so I, but I just have a few little things I want to do for work and get them off my plate because I'm also not the kind of person that just takes off and doesn't finish what they need to finish. So I'm not going to ever set my team up to fail. So I'm knocking out the things I need to knock out, passing the baton so my coworkers can finish it and make sure things get to the finish line. My husband told me to pack a bag and said that I'm going somewhere. I think I'm going to a hotel, but I don't like know which hotel I'm going to. I don't know any of that. So I'm going to right now go get dressed. Go get my lunch. I'm getting a salad. Go to the hairdresser because I think I'm going to cut more, cut my hair again. And if we have time, color it black. Then I have a wax appointment because, you know, you've got to be, you've got to have the fresh Brazilian when you're about to, well, you always have to have the fresh Brazilian, but definitely want to go into 40 with a fresh Brazilian. <laughs> then I'm going to come back home and pack up and wait for my husband to tell me what to do. I'm also planning to finish this book this book is so good y'all creative potential i got it while i was in nashville at the salt conference maybe i'll do a uh review on it if you want me to do a review on that book if you're into books i love reading and i'm making a point to read more i used to read all the time 
But when you have two kids in less than two years, reading becomes difficult. So now that they're older, I can read more because like I'll be sitting on the couch reading my book and then my kids will be sitting on the couch reading their book. It's the sweetest thing. I think I'll do a review. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a review on the book because it is amazing. And uh, all right, let's get started with this day. crazy nights right there in that strip club <laughs> a lot of crazy nights oh it's so cold oh glad i wore my big coat but my ears are cold i need some god dang earmuffs i want to move to miami like why do i live here why Because I feel like a hard reset. Oh, you know, I'm like, all right. that shit they told us, I'm like, this is dumb. I did this already. Y'all are just. I got it. This is good. Because I ain't even 50. I was like, what you mean? Okay. My hairdresser gave me okay. some yeah. Prosecco. I wanted, I wanted. Oh. 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 I love it. Cheers. Cheers to my bookie. Awesome. Many times. Yes. <laughs> so you can upload it from your phone? Absolutely. 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 Yep. Yeah. Oh, Parker says that. Are you serious? My hair is done. About to go to the spice fleet. So if you are a human who's on social media, then you have absolutely already, you should know about the spice fleet. Black woman owns Spice Mecca, but it's more than spices, it's just like everything. Hey Angel, hey girl. Reopen her space, this is beautiful. My hairdresser, Tania is one of the stylists that is inside this facility. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm about to get. So much. I want you guys to know I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm running off champagne and adrenaline and it feels Amazing. Uh oh, are you gonna stop? But are you gonna stop? Champagne and adrenaline. Not even champagne, Prosecco and adrenaline. Um, but it's my birthday. I'm about to be fucking 40 and it feels amazing. Okay, bye. Got this bomb ass parking space. <sighs> and I got this big ass truck. Did that. One take Hank. Per. All right, I'm in Georgetown. Um, Georgetown, if you're not from the DMV, it's a, it's like a shopping vibe. Georgetown has been the vibe for many, many years, even when I was like in middle school. I don't come down here as much anymore. It's funny because my son's school is right up the street, so I'll probably go and visit him when I leave here. But I'm here to get my wax. I've been going to the same Brazilian wax artist for 15 years, since 2008. Um, and she's the best. She's been voted top waxer in the DC area for a very long time. Her name is Tammy. I don't know if she's accepting new clients, but I love her. And um about to get wax. So I actually got I was telling my um my hairstylist this when I was getting my hair done. I love the black by the way. I was telling her that I was going to get my wax when I left here and then I was like it reminded me that I actually I got um I got laser last year. I got my vagina lasered. I got a Brazilian laser a year ago. Um, so that's why I don't have to get waxes that often because the hair grows back a lot slower when you've gotten waxed. So yeah, I see my waxer probably twice a year, if that. See, I need to cross here. Ugh, I can't walk and talk.
In Maryland, I've been there for a year. Um, but I still, I don't know if you remember, I have a, a brick and mortar content studio. Um, we op I opened that about five and a half years ago. Um, My husband has ordered a car for me. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, the, the folder you just gave me. Where is it? Did I grab it? I don't, you had it last Okay. Thank you. Focus on me I don't get to have breakfast in bed often, or not get to, I don't have breakfast in bed often. So, we are gonna do it today, it's my birthday. Tomorrow, it's my birthday. Keep it simple, egg whites, bacon, potatoes. Okay, breakfast in bed. That's what she said, this is not the kind of tea that I asked for, I asked for green tea. Anthony, I um, can I have green tea, jasmine tea sent up? Um, I think that's what I requested, but I was given black tea. My apologies for that. That's I'm okay. So sorry for the mix-up. I will go ahead and have that sent up. Thank you very much. It's okay, Anthony. So today is December eighth, and I turn forty. I turn forty tomorrow. Uh huh. I feel good. I feel good today. I had some of those weird feelings. Not yesterday, but the day before. I guess that was Wednesday, December 6th. Oh my God, I can't can't open it. But today I feel good. Y'all saw I came to the hotel last night. My husband um, surprised me with flowers and a little bit of money, money. <laughs> so when I woke up this morning, I read. I think I've showed y'all this book before, Creative Potential. I know I have. Read some more pages in that. It's so good. It's, I don't be wanting to put it down. 
but then I was like let me finish editing this the vlog from the salamander for my husband's birthday so I finished that that's actually loading right now um hot water with lemon y'all know that I like to so I'll start my morning so I'll drink this first and then when I get the tea I'll drink my tea mm, so refreshing so I edited the vlog. It's loading to YouTube right now. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not trying. I am being consistent with releasing vlogs on Fridays. Last week I released a vlog, a vlog on Thursday and Friday. Look at me. Look at me. So this week, so I, I'm essentially like two weeks. So vlogs that you see are going to be delayed about two weeks because the vlog that just went up is from how the Thanksgiving weekend from my husband's birthday. This vlog, oops, that's my tea. Hi. This, I think that one's black and I think you're dead. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so I don't know if this vlog will come out next week, which will be like December 16th or not because I have more content that I could release next week. I don't know, but went ahead and edited that. Really happy I got that done. And I'm also, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I produce a podcast that's on the Dear Young Queen Network. The Dear Young Queen Network has the Ask Ashley podcast. Um, it has the Dear Young Queen podcast. And that network was founded by Ashley Witherspoon, who is, she's an influencer. She's a writer. She's a podcaster. She's a producer. Real cool girl. I've known about her for a while, but we connected. And so I'm now producing a podcast on her network called the Ready, Set, Grow podcast. And the host is S. Tia Brown. She's a journalist. She's a a therapist. She's a life coach. She's a dope chick from from Brooklyn. Um, so we work together to produce her podcast. I'll make sure I link to all of it in the description. So my husband made a spa appointment for me at one o'clock. So I absolutely want to be on time for that. I don't I don't know what time it is right now. And part of like this weekend, my birthday weekend, is not knowing what time it is. I don't want to know what time nothing is. I just want to go about my dang day. But it's 10 17 right now so i'm gonna eat my lunch i didn't go to the gym today i don't really feel like it i wanted to sleep or just lay in the bed because again doing things that i don't always get to do on my birthday weekend my son has a basketball game tonight but i don't i don't know if i'm gonna make it because i think the game is at 4 30. well i could make it my spa ends at I don't know. Anyway, go to the game and then just kind of see where I end up. I'll end up back here. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll end up, if my husband's going to come back with me or if he is going to drop the kids off somewhere. I haven't, I didn't think about it. I'm going to enjoy this breakfast. It's a big breakfast too. And catch y'all.
It's like Miami. Spicy margarita. It's really good. Wow. Let's tell Toronto. Cheers. You have to say something. Huh? Yeah, to so many birthdays. Thank you, Mom, for being the greatest mom on planet Earth, actually in the galaxy. Thank you for being a great wife and all the beautiful things. May you have many, 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 many more. Square. Yeah. My name is Papa. Say happy birthday, Mommy. Happy birthday, Mommy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Reese. Got back to the hotel and I seen a lot of cars parked outside the hotel. I'm not gonna say what kind of cars it was, but when I walked in the hotel, it was the music was jumping, they playing salt and pepper. So I'm about to so then I got on Inst actually I got on Instagram and you know how you can just do the location. So I put the hotel and then I went over to places and I saw that some big company is having their holiday party. So I'm about to change my clothes and crash the holiday party because why not because my birthday's tomorrow and i turn 40 and if somebody says you can't come I'm like okay cool but why not try it it sounded like they was having a good time look like they was having a good time off the gram and i'm staying here so might as well <laughs> i do low-key wish one of my girls was here though so we could like do it together but i feel like i'm gonna be alone a lot in my 40 plus um season and i love being by myself so anywho let me put my little outfit on so we can go see what this party is hitting on Purr. <laughs> Very crazy. Get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Listen, it's not your birthday, okay? I would just go play golf. Yeah, and that's what I tell my husband. I'm like, listen, I need this weekend, and you should get that for yourself. He's like, but he goes, I don't need it. Cool. Yeah, but, you <laughs> but, you but you can have it if you want it. And I don't, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Is it 12 yet? Not yet. 11.59. <laughs> it's so hot. Happy birthday. I didn't know how I was going to feel today, but I feel really good. I feel loved. I feel I feel how I feel every birthday. I always feel loved. I always feel special. I FaceTime with my sister and my niece and my husband and my kids and my mom and my dad. And I got up around 6. I couldn't stay. I couldn't sleep late. Got up around 6 a.m., took a shower, washed my face, brushed my teeth. And then I got back in the bed. I think I'm going to do a separate vlog on just like turning 40. This is going to still be part of my first week of December um, vlog. But I am alive. The The song that's in my head is Beyonce's 
It feels good to be alive. It feels so good to be alive. Like, that's the only... I, I just keep singing that song to myself. It feels so good to be alive. Got all my family by my side. I know people that didn't make it to 40. I know people that didn't make it to 30. So I'm just thankful. Probably go to lunch or something. Um, but I feel good. I feel like God is shining on me. Literally. You know, I was with my kids and my husband last night. Like, God is great. And I'm... I can't complain. I've learned a lot over the last couple weeks. And, um... Had a lot of feelings, a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of sad emotions, a lot of confused emotions. Um, but I wake up today on my 40th birthday, December 9th, 2023. I was born on December 9th, 1983. And I wasn't, I technically, I'm, it's not my birthday yet. I wasn't born until like 6.30 p.m. But, um, you know, I'm proud of myself. I look at my kids. They're so beautiful and so sweet and so everything. And, like, they came from me. I get to look at them and experience the world through them now. My husband, so dedicated and committed and so fine and just a good, solid human. My parents, like, I was talking to my parents this morning and just thanking them for such an amazing childhood, how, like, I've always been a little different and my parents embraced that and they never made me feel bad about it. They just kind of kept ushering me into the season of do that, go ahead Patrice. And because of that, I have so many worldly experiences that I still talk about to this day. And um, they pushed me to be my best, but it was never like to follow the leader. It was, I was the leader. I was the leader. I was raised like that. That's why I'm who I am today. This 40-year-old, this is Sam 40, <laughs> that is deciding to vlog, um, which is something I've always wanted to do. So I'm just thankful that I'm finally doing it. I've experienced a lot of life. I've experienced a lot of things. <laughs> In my hairdresser, when I was getting my hair done, y'all saw some of those clips. I've known her for years. And she was just saying how um, a lot of the, like, she was like, I've, you, Patrice, she was like, I've experienced so much so early. A lot of the things that some people are just doing for the first time, I did that shit 10 years ago. And and I know that about myself. And so that's why I'm always kind of seeking the, the next, the bigger, the more impact. Because I know what I've done and I know what I can do. But at the end of the day, I have to be thankful for the present and I have to stay in the present. And so while I'm always excited about something else that can that can kind of hurt me because it's like I'm never appreciating where I am and what I've done. I am appreciative. I am so appreciative right now, right now, today, of what God has blessed me with. The ups, the downs, everything. to reach for the dance I love most, writing and words, 
I realize there's going to have to find a different mode of expression. That became painting. The world defines you. Great success, great failure. You know, her health is failing. Her book is on the New York Times bestseller list. That's her journey.